Hello, I'm Philip. Welcome to a new tutorial. In this one, we're gonna learn how to do an underwater effect just like this one. Making this effect is super easy. If you're doing it with me, make sure to pause the video at the right time if I'm going a little bit too fast. But the first things we need is some clips. So here I've got one of a turtle. I am clearly outside of the water looking through an aquarium. And then in my second clip, I am under the water with the turtle swimming with it. From here, what I will need now is a peachy song, something that gives me a lot of energy. So let me grab that from my media pool and put it here. Let's cut the piece that we don't need and rearrange just like so. Now from here, if I have a bit of a listen, while the video sell the effect to an extent, the audio is nowhere near ready. Now it is not a coincidence that my transition between the two clips happens to be at the same time as a beat. I really want that beat so it helps sell the effect. So how do we get it? Very simple, take that audio clip, break it in two, select the one where we will want to apply the effect, go into the inspector on the top right, if you don't have it, simply turn it on, select the audio tab, and then turns on the equalizer. Make sure that band one and four are deselected, we will not need that, and then change the selector here for band two and three to be that little fork. So for band two, it's already the right one. For band three, we will take the opposite fork, just like so. Now that we've set those band, we can get started with the effect. So grab that three, drag it down around the gain to be minus 15, more or less, minus 15, minus 18, it's completely fine. And bring the frequency around 650. I find 650 to be roughly what I want it to be. Some people will say 450 for underwater, some people will say 1000. Your video, your choice, do like me, experiment. Once you've done with band 3, we'll take band 2, we'll go up. I like to get the gain kind of at a similar level, but in the other direction. And now if you press play, this is what we have. Really good, right? We're 99% there. To really go the extra level and be 110% there, let's add a little bit of ambience. For that, very easy. I'm gonna grab a bit of an ocean vibe. This is something I got for free on freesound.org. I left you a link in the description if you also want free resources. And just like for the song, we will get rid of the first part. We don't really need it, but I'm also gonna add some bubble sound. This is simply to really go to the next level. Those bubble sound are exactly what you would expect. If I'm going at the beginning, let's have a listen. Bubbles, right? Nothing crazy. Now, if I have those two effects together and I'm replaying it, we will see that while it's very similar, it's just a little bit better. And if I remove the music, as you could see, there's really that ocean vibe that's come as a background for your hair to listen and grab into. From here, we're nearly done. I can add a little zoom in effect if I want to. For that, comes into the effect library on the top left. Go into your video transition, scroll down until fusion transition, grab the zoom in and simply drop it. From there, Select it, go into the inspector on the top right, change the duration to six frame. I like it to be like a quarter of a second for me, simply because I want it to be really fast and I've got 24 frames per second, therefore uh, six frame. But now if I'm playing it, as you see, I got that kind of zoom in effect that helps me uh, make the transition. Now, if I wanna go a little bit further, I can bring those down. I can decide to extend the first clip uh, a little bit, you know, not that much, six frames, seems about right. I can take this one, go six frames the other side. This works really well because it's the same audio that I cut. So the audio one and the audio two, as I extend them into each direction, basically just replay themselves. They are exactly the same thing, but now we'll be able to fade that effect uh, one side and the other. So that transition won't be as harsh. Now this looks like an awful amount of time, so let me maybe shrink that uh, by half. I really want this to be a short paced transition that match my effect uh, in terms of the, the zoom in. So here we go. I can just kind of tweak that here. And now if I have a play. Doesn't really make a difference. Again, this is marginal gains, but that's a little detail that will set your video apart from the others. Now with all of this, we've got everything. As a bonus, if you wonder how I'm doing that opening, nothing crazy. It's just another video transition. I'm using the barn door, as you can see it open up. So drag them up, 
bring them here in the inspector change them from vertical to horizontal and then maybe change the ease for in and out and now from here as you go through you can see that these slowly open if i want to get the same thing on the other side i don't really have a good trick so i'm going to do something quick and dirty i'm going to drop a solid color and then select my transition press option on my keyboard bring it to the other side here and as i'm going through it's kind of what i want but not exactly so we'll simply reverse it um, keep the ease in and out keep the duration and now if I'm playing through let's maybe mute that you know if I'm playing through we can see that it is slowly closing up and that's exactly what we want from there you've got it that's the sound effect I will see you in the next one until next time ciao